Hey guys, Ralphie Dude here. Happy New Year's. It's almost midnight and I'm gonna need to head out to work, but before I do, I figured I would do a video that you guys have been asking for, uh, which is my uh, computer setup. Um, a lot of you guys wanted to know what I fly with and uh, what my specs are, so uh, might as well do a video about it, right? Anyway, first off, we have the Thrustmaster Warthog. Beautiful, beautiful stick. If you have the money, definitely 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 take it it's beautiful i love it it's absolutely amazing there's only a few plastic components here uh, mainly the throttle is uh mostly made out of all plastic as far as the buttons go and uh, this entire panel this base this this everything up here it's all metal it's beautiful it weighs a freaking ton uh so i highly recommend it now one thing i forgot to mention are the pedals so I got myself the Cytec pedals, not the Pro, the regular ones, and they're fantastic. Haven't been any issue for me. A little dusty down there, but who gives a damn? Uh, the other thing that I have, obviously, is the Track IR. Now I have the G35 headset, which has been battle worn, but um, I'm using the Track Clip with the uh, Track IR right here, which is the fourth one. Uh, place it off to the side because when you're playing you obviously have these sensors over here on the left a lot of people make the mistake of putting this right there and then that's why their track AR doesn't work uh, later on here we'll have a second monitor which I don't exactly use don't mind the beer or the knife don't know why that's there Wow, this bad boy now as far as the computer goes it's a bit of a mess in here I'm not the best in cable management but I got myself the V8 cooler. I got uh, 16 gigabytes of uh, some really quick RAM, if I remember correctly. What was that 2,133 megahertz? Yeah, so that's four times four gigabyte sticks there. Um, this is the bad boy, the GTX 690. Not the best thing for DCS since it's uh, like two 680s in one card, but uh, I got it for other reasons. Uh, the motherboard is a Z77. Asus motherboard. This thing's a beast. I also highly recommend it, but it's really up to you. Motherboards are motherboards, you know. Then I got the 950 watt power supply. I've had that since so God knows when. It's a good thing I did. And the uh, CPU that's behind this cooler. I believe that's the 397 blah 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 blah. It's a nice 7. It's one of the newer cores. I think it's kind of bottlenecked because of the GPU, but um, that's definitely going to be my next purchase. Um, and I'm running it at stock, so I think I have it on high performance, which means it goes up to around 4 gigahertz, which is you know, just fine for uh, DCS. The higher your uh, frequency, the better your game's going to run uh, frames-wise. It's not exactly GPU intensive because uh, it's not multi-core. Uh, the game runs on two cores, uh, basically everything in one core, while sound goes on the second core, which doesn't make sense whatsoever, but whatever. Then I've got a couple of SSDs. I'm running uh, my OS on the top SSD, I'm running my games on my bottom SSD, and then I have my storage units of uh, three uh, separate hard drives. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, what else do I have here? Now, on the side of the computer and the stick and the track IR and the calendar, not a requirement, but I definitely recommend it. Look at that chick. Anyway, I have the uh, kneeboard, which is very, very nifty. I gotta cut some pieces of paper out. I have my pen and I can write down all the coordinates as you can see. I throw everything else out and some cool stuff underneath it. This is a real kneeboard for actual flights. Now, DCS-wise, I've also printed out, it's my pilot book, the uh, emergency procedures list. This is Dragon's 25th VFS, and this covers quite a lot of uh, things that usually occur. Uh, fire engines, uh, engine oil problems, fuel boost problems. Uh, if your hydraulics go out on one side, what do you lose? If the hydraulics go out on the other, how to do a windmill restart, a whole bunch of crap. It's absolutely amazing. 
I would highly recommend you guys get something like this and keep it with you. The second thing I printed out when I was still learning is the air defenses. This is the uh, guide by Snoopy, aka Polariki, Polariki, whatever the hell. Also Dragon's 25th VFS. And this covers what the uh, air threats are. So everything from the altitude and the range of each and every single thing is from radars down to the actual missile silos themselves which is really nice and they're really nifty I learned a lot um, might not be very accurate but you're gonna get it within uh, a ballpark I know there's been some uh, disputes about different ranges and altitudes so also highly recommend you get that as well um, after that is just a keyboard regular keyboard regular mouse well it's a Storm, uh, Cooler Master Storm. I actually have to send it back because the right mouse button doesn't work. Only down here it does. It's really weird. Right, one more thing I forgot. Uh, I got myself a Nexus uh, 7 for Christmas. Uh, didn't ask for it, but uh, absolutely happy, amazed with it. I will never get an iPad. I hate Apple. <laughs> um, so I put it to good use right away. And uh, I downloaded an app that's actually available if you have, do have an iPod or a Nexus or whatever it's called DCS Manager uh, this beautiful little thing uh, gives you a bunch of options so I have the checklist and the air domes uh, I'm interested in the air domes so I can have uh, the tower, ILS, and TACAN frequencies right now I did print this out so I do have it all and I have the corrected ru runway headings because they aren't correct uh, I don't know if they're going to fix it anytime soon or not, but I do have them here. But sometimes it's a pain in the butt if I don't know what direction the, air, the airfields are at and whatnot. So this thing is a fantastic because let's say I can go to Batumi and get an air dome chart. Well, this also works and it gives you a nice directional heading. You can zoom this in and see precisely what's going on. <laughs> if you guys believe me. And this is a simpler chart of the airfield. So I have the runway uh, runways that are available and all that jazz. This is a great, fantastic little tool. Uh, it also comes with a uh, checklist. So for checklists for the A-10 and the Black Shark, you can have things like uh, uh, targeting pod, countermeasures, navigation, and com task, area fueling. Uh, navigation, for example, uh, the EGI, how to do waypoint selection, things like that. It's just a simple checklist if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, I prefer to have paper in my hand, but this is nice to have as well. Uh, the monitor, I forgot what size it is, but uh, it's an Asus. Ruler, 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 ruler. Come on, I'm an engineer. I should have a ruler. Somewhere. Mess. No? Well, oh, fuck you too then. Right, we'll use this. Uh, what is that? That'll be 12. Oh, it's like 24 inches across. Yeah, there you have it. And that's it, Dermlin. So enjoy your Happy New Year's. Hope you're having fun. Hope you like this background. By the way, my Air Combat USA patch is fucking brilliant. I'm still working on the uh, the tapes, so that's going to be a while. Probably not until late January if I'm, I'm lucky. So uh, drink lots, regret everything you do, and uh, have fun.